everyone. Hi, NVLA. This is Mrs. Fox, ready to teach you another um, project that we are going to be touching on. By the time you see this video, we might already have done this um, in class. So today we're going. I'm going to teach you how to do a mask like this using your toilet paper rolls. Um, this is called a Save the Earth project. So instead of throwing these away, I know even though they're um, cardboard and they are biodegradable, it's still good to do something and make art with something that will contribute to um, the community if you want or for yourself. So for this project, you're going to need toilet paper rolls, the empty ones, and um, I would just clean them out when I get them. So if you see like little bits like this, you want to get rid of it. Of course, it is kind of stuck on there with the adhesive. So, but if you, after you dunk this in water, it should um, be easily taken off. So that's a toilet paper roll. We're going to need a cup of water and this water is, um, this container is tall enough so that when I dunk it, see, it's about the same height. So you'll have an equal amount of water um, being absorbed by the cardboard. And then we're going to need um, banana clips. I call them banana clips. I don't know why, but they are banana clips. And then you're going to need Mod Podge. Um, you can also use glue. I haven't used glue with this, but I'm pretty sure that it's okay to use it. But I like Mod Podge because um, it dries really fast um, with the hair dryer. Oh, you also need a hair dryer, which I have one ready to go. And a little paintbrush. It's a, this is what I call a scruffy brush because I don't use this to paint any of, of my fine art. Um, I use this specifically to apply glue or matte medium. So to start, to begin, it's just going to be as creative as you want to be. So this one, it was pretty creative. This is one of my favorites. So we're going to try to recreate this. And the reason why I have these clips is so that it can hold the shape of the mask the parts of the face that I want so you're going to have to decide which side you're going to use so this to me is like the perfect side to use because it's kind of really stuck in there um, and for the face I want the the um, nose to come to right about here and then the eyes to come right about here. So now the seam is on the side, so I won't have to worry about that because some of these toilet paper rolls are very skimpy and, and thin that when you dunk it in the water, it comes apart. So hopefully this doesn't come apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick it in the water just real quick because it does absorb a lot of water and I'm just going to tap it on the side here and then I'll decide which part so this is here's again my seam so I'm gonna go right about here this is where I want the eyes to be so I'm going to fold that like this and then I'm going to take my finger okay take my finger and I'm going to shape the nose so I'm gonna fold that first and then to make it easy on myself, I'm going to fold again where I feel the nose is going to be, where I want it to be. So I fold here and I fold here. As you can notice, I fold it in and then I fold it out. Okay. So then I'll take my finger and I'm going to hold it together like this. All right. And then I'm going to shape the nose like this, pushing that out like that. Then I'm going to take one of my clips just to be able to hold it right there. You can see I put the clip right in there, right? So now something's holding the clip. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Now, 
this is the tricky part so I'm going to fold this in I'm gonna hold it so I have my see you can see my finger in there it's holding the nose part so I'm going to do fold it like this okay then now I know where this part this part of the nose is all right so now I know so I'm going to just shape it with my fingernail hopefully you have enough fingernail in there which is really not a big deal then I'm going to fold this in like this together I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold this in like this open it up and then I'm going to start to bunch it up so that this part right here I'm going to fold it like this first and then open its mouth and then fold it in okay so now it's in now it's in and I'm going to fold this over I mean under like this so now I know this is my nose now I need the mouth so I'm going to do lips like this it's not gonna look exactly the same but it's gonna be pretty close so now I have mouth there you go just gonna push this in any you can really mold it just by pushing stuff in from inside there we go now now that I got this together okay now I'm going to take a clip and clip these where I want to see the reason why I'm teaching you on the video is because we don't have time obviously we don't have time in class to do this because we only get 30 minutes so now I have my lips and then I have my chin right here it's not gonna look like I said it's not gonna look exactly the same and then you can also do your own so I'm going I'm just going to do this right here and put my clip there put a clip right there just to hold it okay and then take another one and hold it so now I got clips everywhere I'm gonna fold this in just to make it so that it's not um, doesn't have that that organic edge right there so now I have that this is awesome so now I'm gonna take the nose and I'm gonna shape it even more okay you can also take a small um, paintbrush or whatever you have that's kind of round and stick it in there. And then take another clip. Move that away. Move that away. Take another clip and just hold this. Oop, wait a minute. The one part of my clip is in there so it's in the way so I have to take that off first like this then okay now it's out of the way I'm gonna take this paintbrush and look I'm gonna go stick it in there like this and then I'm going to take my clip and clip it okay so now I have everything and now this this uh, toilet paper roll is starting to dry so however it's being formed right now it's drying to the form okay so then the part the last part is I'm going to take my Mod Podge hmm, it's a brand new brand new oop, just stuck my finger in there um you also want to protect your table with some um, absorbent type of rag or something just to protect your table and also so that it will absorb some of that excess water okay 
So now I'm taking my Mod Podge. I take my paintbrush and then I start to go over it like this. And then just going to do to the side like this. Okay, so I think for now, I think that this nose right here is pretty formed. So I'm going to take this off. See, it's already formed. I'm going to take the paintbrush off because that's really in my way. So now I'm just going to hold it under like this. So I have leverage when I'm applying the Mod Podge. And that takes practice, you guys. It's not going to happen overnight. You're probably going to waste, um, I don't know, about maybe five of these until you perfect it. And whatever you come up with, whatever type of face you come up with. See, I'm pushing that in just so that I'm forming the nose. However, whatever you come up with is going to be really organic and it's going to be really... Um, unique so every face is not going to be the same it's never going to be the same but then you'll have just interesting little faces and masks that you can uh, paint with your acrylic paints or gouache or now since um, I have this already probably formed and dried and dried up in there I'm gonna take that off take it off and it's going to keep its shape so you can also put the Mod Podge on it like this and then when it's a little bit dry you can put the clip back on just so you know for sure that it's it is um, good and uh, stuck on there so I'm just going to go into the nooks and cranny right there because this is also going to help um, stick stuff together all right there we go it's forming it's going look it's looking good all right so I'm gonna stop right here because this is really not important to do as long as my my mask holds its shape the way I want it with its face I'm good with it okay um, it's gonna take about overnight if you do this I, I lost my my shape my no shape so I'm just going to go ahead and shape it again and I can take this clip off really I can take this off and now my nose is back all right so okay here we go so this is um, one of the tricky parts so I'm going to take my hair dryer and dry it enough so that it is um, it's gonna hold whatever shape and it's not going to stretch back out um, if I just leave it like this because you can see you know it's probably going to stretch back out and you might not like that you might like it I don't know but for me I don't like it I want my shapes to be exact so now I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm just gonna put it on low and I'm just going to dry just enough so that it's not gonna stretch back out so you can see this is gonna dry clear as you can see parts of it's already clearing up okay however it's still going to be wet inside in here so you want to try to hit that with the hair dryer as well but hit the outside part first but you see it's already coming apart see but I'm not going to worry about that right now because once this clears up I'm going to put my clip back on it so that when it dries thoroughly tomorrow when I go back to it it's going to be in there good so I want this I want this part right here to go back down but everything else seems to be okay I'm fine with it 
and really you can do so much with just toilet paper rolls, as you can see. Okay, so now I think that's pretty good. I don't think that, that this is why it's good to have these metal clips because nothing will stick to it. So I'm going to go put that back in right there. Okay. And then I'm going to look at my face. Okay, what else do I want to do? Nothing really. I think this is perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that. Now you're going to see if if this is really thoroughly dried, it's going to be so hard like this. See this? Really hard. But I left this organic, meaning um, the way it is, raw. Because I want you guys to write your names here in the back. So that you will never um, lose your, your mask. And that's the most important part. So let's see. Do they look alike? No, there's nothing about them that's alike. Maybe the nose, but I don't even think so. So now after you're done, I would try to shape this as round as possible. So I'm going I'm just going to you know kind of loosen up that that seam right there. I'm going to make it a little bit rounder because that's what faces are. They're kind of round. So while it's still malleable, you can start to kind of shape it the way you want. And there you go, guys. Look, don't ever throw your toilet paper rolls out. Make masks. And there's so many other uses for toilet paper rolls. But I find that all the other projects that I've had done before were kind of boring so and this one was like the best one that I've ever um, done so there you go okay happy crafting bye guys hi guys so I needed to tell you something else I forgot to tell you earlier um, this is the brush that I used to to apply the um, the Mod Podge. As you can see, this is the cup that I used to clean my brush with. Um, trying to show you. Um, because it, this is a cup that has just a little bit of water so that it doesn't go past this metal, but it already did. So, But this is a scruffy brush. I don't really care for this brush, but I just use it for things like, like what I just used it for. Now, um, I'm going to take this brush and wipe the excess off because once this dries on your paintbrush, then it's you might as well just throw it away because it's not you're not going to be able to use it. It's going to dry hard. So, okay. So, also about this mask. So, it's great that I have this one extra one because all the stuff is in my car. But, um... I have white gesso. White gesso is simply a ground, a uh, painting ground on anything, on any surface that you want to paint. So that, because when you apply this, it's going to have um, kind of a rough surface. It makes it, it makes the surface rough. And not only does it make the surface rough, it also makes the surface um, ready to uh, paint with whatever color. Um, it's like, when you paint a house, when you're painting your walls, um, you have to put the primer. So this this acts like a primer, um, so that when you paint the color that you want, it it will accept it. Like and and the sh the colors that you chose will show exactly what the color is. If you take a wall that has like a dark um, surface on it, and you don't put the primer, then the the color that you put on the wall will become a lot more dark than what the real color is because the the background is um dark to begin with so if you put the white then you have like a clean slate it's like a canvas a blank canvas so this gesso g-e-s-s-o 
I love this product because this product right here is very thick, okay? And this, if you want to add texture to your artwork, which is texture is simply um, like rough, it's not smooth, okay? So if you want texture, it's always good to use the thick kind. And also if you don't want it, if you don't want the texture, you can also thin it with water. So I'm going to apply this to my, to my mask so that, okay, because this is kind of dark. If I put maybe like a pink on top of it, if I wanted to, my mask to be pink, it's going to probably be like a dark pink and I don't like that. I want the true color that I put on there it is what I get. So now I'm going to, this was the one that was, that I um, had done before, not the one we just did. It's already, it's already hardened and um, it's already ready to go. So now I use the same paintbrush to just cover the entire thing. I'm only going to go like a little bit past the side because I know I'm going to attach this to something. So the back is going to be raw so it's easier to put any kind type of adhesive on the back there or stickiness. And I'm going into the nooks and cranny because once you've shaped your face, it's going to have those nooks and crannies so i'm just going getting in there good see the the thing is that's why um we can't do this in classes because we don't have time this this took time you know this is something that you want to do with your parents with your friends um at home or i don't know when you're just feeling like you want to do art you can Take your empty toilet paper rolls and make art. You can make art with anything, really. So here, I'm st I'm just going in there really good because that is going to create shade, like a darker shade for me. And if that if I left that dark, then it's not. And plus, it's not gonna look good because it doesn't look finished. So you can't rush art. You have to. Um, my philosophy is Ohio only handle it once you know because you may be like in the middle of painting something and then you go OMG I forgot to put white in that nook so now you have to take out the gesso again and then you have to go in and put that in which is a pain because then you have to wait for it to dry and all that stuff so you don't want to do that all right so this is pretty much done and I'm just going past a little bit underneath so that if somebody looks at it even if it's connected to something it is um, attached to something even if they go look at it from this angle they're not gonna see the rawness underneath you're not gonna see that but you you do want to leave some rawness here in the middle because if you're going to attach it to something you want it to but I guess gesso is not that bad because gesso will also allow it allow anything to attach to you so there there you go you can do a second coat if you want to if you want it to be a lot smoother and a lot more even you can do a second coat but I'm not gonna worry about it this is only for fun just to show you guys Okay, and then now you can do whatever you want. I did one with, I just used a tissue paper, a tissue paper, and um, Mod Podged it over the mask, and it turned out pretty good. Like decorative tissue paper, not the tissue paper they used. No. <laughs> you can use that if you want to, you can use tissue paper like the ones that you blow your nose on. Yeah, you can use those um, if you just want to add some texture. But this is enough texture, so it's interesting. So there you go. See, I got in there really good because I saw that after it absorbed a little bit, hmm, it 
showed me some holes in there. So there you go. It's upside down, I know, but here. I will take my clip and I will show you this way. There you go. Now you're going to let that dry and then, then you can paint anything you want. There you go. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you press the like button. Thank you. Bye. Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Are you smiling?